his ability to get along with people, to have a sense of humor, never disparage others, it was just incredible. He taught me a thing or two. This comes straight from the heart. He was tough, he was, he was scrawny and skinny, but he could catch a ball over the middle and take a hit. But the most important thing is he was a great leader. Usually always calm, never got, never got off the deep end too much, and uh, I respected that. I'm just very proud, but I'm not surprised. He's, he's a good man. I, you know, I, he can stay, he, he's part of my family, so I'm just as proud as anybody else of him. He seemed to always look out for all of us within the organization. Um, you can tell his heart is in the community. Probably growing up in the community as well as I did, you have that sense of um, not just respect, but just wanting to do what's right. Chief Wynn provides a strong leadership to the department, not only just for showing us about law enforcement, but he also shows that leadership about caring for the community. He has over 30 years in law enforcement, and over those 30 years, he's always been very active in the community, showing the officers that it's not important just to make an arrest, but also to build a relationship with the community so we can both work together to solve problems in our community. Even as a police officer, he, he stands out because of his godly manner and his positive attitude. And to be honest with you, the kids are drawn to him for that reason. Some of the smaller kids that he knew early on when he started has gone to bigger and better things. He's really been a positive impact upon us at the Lord's House. The first meeting or two that Luke came to and I introduced Luke, uh, Ed Schatzman was the, the sitting president at the time. After Luke left, Schatzman said that uh, that was one of the most professional police officers that he had ever seen. And he said he would be a perfect role model to these children in St. Petersburg that needed someone to look up to. If, if you would look at his uh, bio or his resume, you'll see that he has served on about 15 or 18 different organizations. Those organizations are the type of organizations where if you're a member of that organization, you're reaching a hand out to help people. And that's what he did. That's also what Mr. Schatzman did. Well, I met Chief Williams when I was about 11, 12 years old. He really helped me become the man I am today. I saw this man of color when there weren't many in my life to begin with, and I saw, oh, I can be like him. I could, uh, I have this person to look up to, and. Uh, I have basically a guideline as to how I should be in my community.